Uh, it's game time. Are you ready to play a little game? Yes, Nothing. work. Uh, we have a special game that we created just for you. Work. It's called Never Loved Ya or Always Hugged Ya. Uh, Yay! Oh. <laughs> it's a simple little game work. in which we're going to show you some things, and you're going to tell us whether you never loved ya means that you are not a fan, or Always Hugged Ya means you like them. Always okay? Let us begin. Never Loved Ya, Always Hugged Ya. Michelle Visage. Always hugged ya. Always hugged ya. Now, um, yeah, on get the, in. On the reunion, uh, I on the reading challenge, I said, Michelle Visage, never loved ya. Mm -hmm. It was like, I, I have to razz her for yeah. razzing me on the very first episode for my signature makeup. Um, but no, I uh, love Michelle Visage, and uh, she's like, I'm so gagged that I get to work with her uh -huh. and to be associated with her. Uh -huh. Like, how can I never loved her? Right. Like, you know what I mean? Did you get pushback from people on that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I like, uh, it's really funny because like people are like, oh, Dusty, you're so sweet, you're so sweet, which is true. Uh -huh. But like, I'm also human, mm -hmm. and like, my face makes faces, and yeah. I also have opinions. <laughs> yeah. And as an artist, I know that I have put myself up for people to have opinions on me, but you also have to realize that like, I have opinions too. Like I can have opinions on your opinions. Uh -huh. and I'm allowed to. Like it's my mm. art and it's my heart. So like, sorry about it. Never left you. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, that was a tough break. Yeah. To come to Drag Race, and then first episode. The very first get, episode to get shit about your signature. Yeah. And we all know that that doesn't go down well. Right. When it, it happens it to you. It doesn't. It doesn't. Um, From Max's gray hair uh -huh. to your dots, it always spells doom in the end. Yeah. Um, you know, that, uh, hearing that, I want it to be, first of all, I was like really starstruck. Like you're standing on the, the stage the first time in front of them and yeah. it's really like a oh shit moment, you know? Mm. And then you get that critique. I just wanted to never clap back to them on camera. Like I never wanted to be a clap back queen. Right. And I never want it to be disrespectful. So I just like, instead of defending myself and being like, I just like, it really shook me. Mm. So I tried to play that, that game. Right. Like being really shook. I remember being next to Monet <laughs> at, every time we were painting our faces, like, girl, do I look okay? She's like, yes, Dusty. I was like, yeah, but I don't look like myself. And I just want to, like, do I look like you yeah. all? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. I love the dots. Thank you. And you're not giving them up, which no. is good. <laughs> Could you imagine if I left the house without dots? No. On? I would be crucified. Hey, right. it's got a signature, <laughs> got to use it. Okay, never loved ya or always hugged ya. Fashion photo <laughs> review. Never <laughs> loved ya. <laughs> um, now, I thought this was truly a uh, an opinion I did not agree with. Yeah. Because I loved your reunion look. Thank I thought you. it was perfectly fitted, stunning, on brand. Thank but you. your sisters up there did no, not. Like and this it. screenshot is truly <laughs> savage it, with, those, it, with those looks that they're giving. You look so happy in the middle, but they are not having that yeah, dress. Yeah, she's living in the middle. Uh, so, yeah, I did. I made a clapback post uh, to that on Instagram. And it got, like, a crazy response. But, like, again... What was the response? What was the crazy response? Like, just, like, uh, they're just their opinions. And uh, why are you so cocky? Why do you? Why are you so full of yourself? Uh -huh. Like, sorry, sis, that look was a mess. <laughs> just, but then I also got, like, a lot of love and support from it, too. Mm -hmm. Actually, I slayed that night. Mm -hmm. And, like... We're gonna talk about like I'm gonna like <laughs> defend myself. I'm just yeah. not gonna like let it blow over. Cause that reunion looks, y'all spend a lot of time and money on I them. Spent so much. And then to money. get just booted, right? Kind of hurt. I was like, like wait, wait a minute, yeah. girl. But like I'm like I don't have anything against Raja or any of them. I of never course. meant for them to get hateful things. Like you said, said that to in them, your post. Like, you said that I not nothing against my sisters, but I mean. That's their opinion. You have to give your opinion. You thought you look great. Great. Yeah. <laughs> well, they still get a never hug ya, okay? Uh, <laughs> just, just, for for those... that, just for that day. <laughs> just for that one day. Yeah. Um, and then last but not least, never loved ya, always <laughs> hugged ya, race chasers. I love this weird picture the staff chooses 
for race chasers. <laughs> Which what's all these straight girls? The, the, what we mean is the people who want to have sex with all the people on Drag Race. You must have experienced getting hit on by some of them. My fiance and I love the D. Mm -hmm. Like we love it. Like we welcome it. Like uh -huh. we always love a co-star. Oh. Um, but like since Drag Race has happened, usually when someone like says Dusty or they're like Drag Race, I block. Right. Like immediately. <laughs> like I just like. I don't know. That's on me, though. Like, sure. I, that's me being insecure and mm -hmm. not, like, seizing the moment and just, like, letting it happen. <laughs> but there's just something a little weird for me and, like, insecure about... I don't want anyone talking about my sex, I guess. I don't know. It's just sure, weird. Sure, you don't want a I fan... Don't... You don't want to give the ultimate VIP fan experience. Right. You don't want the meet and greet of life. <laughs> Although I have slept with a fan. Oh, well, I mean, who... Right. And it was like, he's from Germany. It was oh. so great. Well, you were in Germany. It was yeah. perfect. <laughs> that was the only, that's the only fan I've ever slept with. Well, good <laughs> dog, <laughs> my friend. Uh, Lady Red, do you like to sleep with a fan? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. Of course yeah. you do. I need the answer to that question. Oh, yeah, I'm nasty. Come on now. <laughs> ah, uh, you always can get that special off the menu meet and greet if right? you want. You know my hashtag is Hillshire Farm Go Me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Let's get a little back into the race and to check off some of these moments and you can tell me what it was like to really be there and do it. Sure. Um, first thing, how many times did you audition? I auditioned twice. That's pretty good, Dusty. Yeah. <laughs> I auditioned for season eight, which mm -hmm. was Bob's season. And then I um, uh, started making a tape for season nine, but I didn't like how it was going, uh, so I just stopped. Okay. Um, and then I made my second tape for 10. And what do you think was the difference that made your tape special or different, or was there a difference? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, my tape to me, my audition tape feels like a short film mm -hmm. to me. It feels like a documentary. Mm -hmm. I uh, really, uh, just like dove in and, and sh showed who I was. Right. Um, this was the first time that I actually shot and uh, I edited the tape myself. Yeah. Instead of having someone else edit me. We've heard that multiple times. That edit the ear yourself. People threw it away and actually did it themselves. That's when it That's happened. when it somehow yeah. came through. Lady yeah. Rat, are you taking notes? I'm about to throw all the minds away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but really, <laughs> I think it's best to edit it yourself because right. you're going to show you. You're mm -hmm. not going to show how one person sees you. Right. Because it may not be your vision of yourself, you mm -hmm. know? And they do look for whatever that just fully you right. thing is. And I think uh, on my first uh, audition tape that I was trying to put on a character. Yeah. And I think this just tape, I was like, hey, this is me. This is what I do. Uh huh. Here are my credentials. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Now look at my Mac campaign too. Yeah. Um, let's see. So we talked about the dots being a fucking downer when she didn't like them. Yeah, that's but right. then you had a great moment in the Farmer Rusical. Yes. That was fun. Farmer Rusical was everything. Yeah. Um, that uh, stepping out on stage and seeing Alyssa Edwards, I was like, oh shit. Right. Like they are going to hand our asses to us on this, <laughs> and they did. Because I don't like I can I do choreography, but like I am not a hip hop, I'm not a freestyle dancer. Mm -hmm. Like I don't just like dance. Yeah. Like, give me the choreography, I will execute it. Right. Um. And that was just we. I think we stayed up to like two in the morning, but like we kept begging them for more time. We were like, no, we don't want to go yet. I remember. I think I was like, uh, I was on a loading dock with my team, getting this rehearsal so late at night, and it was like, uh, I was just in my underwear. There was no air. And like, wow. I, I always have my shirt on. I will always be clothed in uh, public. This was the first time I was like, dance class, no clothes. <laughs> I am hot and I am on a mission to learn this choreography and wow. get this right for tomorrow. Uh -huh. And it paid off. It paid off. Any um, behind the scenes tea on the interactions with Alyssa Edwards stuff we didn't see? Um, no, she was just she was just very uh, quick and just like handing it to us. Yeah. She was like, "What do you got to bring? I'm telling you why you're not bringing that right now. This is what you like." Um, just whenever you think you were there, she would just push you to tweak it and mm. go that extra 
extra part. That's fun. And your uh, your runway look was amazing that week thank too. Thank you. Thank you. I just really like that was my episode. Like if we yeah. did, if we if if we were judged individually, I think I could have won a challenge mm -hmm. and won an episode. And yeah, whatever. It's fine though. You still you did great. Yeah, you got to show who you were, what right. you could do. Absolutely. Um, then in episode three was when you really let it all out. Yeah. And you made the reveal about your experience. Right. When it was happening in front of the camera, what's going through your head? Was it something you knew you would share? Or did they nudge you to well, say something? Well, it's something, it's something, uh, it's something that I, I knew that I would share it. Mm -hmm. I was worried about sharing it. Right. Because I had never, um, uh, I had never talked about this with someone who had gone through it with, like, uh, had I gone, gone through it at all. Mm -hmm. So every time that I've talked about my experience with someone who can't sympathize, I always get, like, the... Right. Oh, that's okay. crazy. Yeah. So it's like... Uh -huh. So um, uh, I was really hesitant about telling my story, but then I did it, and I'm so glad that I did, because the outpouring of people that have messaged me to be like, I have been there. Yeah. It made me feel not alone. Totally. And making them not feel alone. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was just the craziest. Did you go, I, I what happened when you that. went home that night in the hotel? Like, what were your, you were like, wow, that's all out there now. Um, you know, I went, even after elimination and I was at home in New York, uh, there were a couple of times that I had some breakdown moments and I would, really? uh, a panic. And uh, I was really upset and nervous about how it would have uh, how it would be shown mm -hmm. um, because what you have to realize is you know I don't have the best relationship with my family uh -huh. but like the love is absolutely there mm -hmm. like my, my my mom and dad aren't terrible people like right. my the, my family they're awesome people you still talk to your mom once a week right yeah we we are in communication my mom I think is just absolutely great and I feel like out of anyone in my family she's the one that has shown the most headway and support, mm -hmm. even though it's still like on the DL, right? Which like still sucks, but like yeah. there is like some movement. Um, did they watch any of the show? Uh, my mom secretly did, yeah. Uh huh. But not every nobody else. Uh, my sister did okay. with her husband. Uh -huh. Um, I don't even think my dad knows I'm on the show. Okay. Um, but uh, uh I did just get booked in my hometown. Wow. So uh, I've prolonged my stay a little longer. And, Are you going to try to get them to come to the show? I don't think try so. Try to kill them? <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Um, no, but uh, I haven't been home in like four years or maybe wow. more. So uh, this is the first time I'm going and it's to be dusty and to make money. Wow. But uh, we're going to we're gonna, uh, we're gonna see them and like see what happens. Oh, well, stay tuned. That'll be for your next yeah. appearance, sweetie, because I want to <laughs> hear what happens on that trip. Let's talk about the lip sync that sent you home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now... You had a stunt planned. Yeah. That you didn't do. There, didn't there. Do. Oh, there we are looking. I mean, you had the unfortunate uh, fact that you were up against Monet Exchange doing Pound the Alarm, right. which is a natural for her. Right. And maybe not the best fit for you. Not the best fit for me at all. But what was, tell us about the stunt that you had planned. Uh, yeah. So in my. Uh, we all have like little uh, bags that have like our initials. Mine said DRB on it, which uh -huh. always reminds me of a radio station. <laughs> right. We're listening to DRB. <laughs> um, and that would just like have our touch up makeup. We would bring that backstage with us. So if we needed to walk off, touch up our face or anything. Uh -huh. Well, I had put an electric cordless uh, razor in my bag because I was going to stick it in my bra and mm. I was going to pull off my wig and shave during one of the bump, 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 uh -huh. like the crazy freak outs. I was right. just going to shave my head. Wow. And um, that was dangerous already because we know Lady Red, what does RuPaul not like? She doesn't like a girl to take off her wig and have nothing under it. <laughs> but oh. I guess if you shave your head, that's something. That's right. A that's a move. And yeah. then put it back on? Yeah. No, no. I was just going to be there bald and looking crazy doing Nikki. <laughs> right. Like, that would have been everything. That would have been pretty good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but when, like, as I said, like, things don't happen as you plan them to. And. You uh, forgot the double A batteries. No, I just left it in the. It was backstage. It oh, was just, no. It was right off stage. Shucks. I just didn't. I was I wasn't thinking. You I was didn't emotional. pull a Valentina was, and be like, "Stop! <laughs> Let me go do this really fast." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just like it is still in that bag. I have not taken the razor out of the bag. Wow. <laughs>
Well, sweetie, thank you for being here. Thank you so much it's for having me. It's been great to meet you. You've really done a lot by not only turning it on the show, but sharing your personal story has helped a lot of people. So, thank you so much. that beyond just being a queen, you know that's your legacy, and that's pretty amazing. Thank you, thank you. And you've turned it so fiercely, sweetie, that you have snatched a trophy, yeah. honey! Yeah. She's not just best bartender anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and honey, I hope your fiance don't mind, because we got you a summertime lap dance. Yeah. You're getting laid, wow. sweetie. Wow. Hey, laid on a Lay my fiance, oh, too. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Man, oh my Ooh. goodness. Uh -oh, this is go. getting interesting. Uh -oh. Maybe you found another. Oh, look, he's got the Dodge too, Dusty. I'm gonna put oh, you in my new. What you got? I love it. I'm gonna put you in my new cabaret show, A Star Is Bread. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> lady Red, take us out with a black lady screaming. <laughs> yes. Hey, queen. With all the dots in the house, I think I'm breaking out. Oh my god! Your first outbreak. Oh no! <laughs> all right, everybody, don't you guys go anywhere. She's gonna play Look Aha. So make sure you tune into that. In the meantime, thank you so uh, much, Dusty. We yes, love you. Thank, thank you, Lady. We actually did love you. We not never loved you. Always loved, loved you. Ya. We always loved you. <laughs> Lady Red, thank you. Hi. Eddie thank Danger, you. you sexy motherfucker, thank you. I Follow love us it. everywhere at Hey Queen TV, and we'll see you next time on Hey Queen. Bye, baby. <laughs> 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 <laughs>